Hey guys, Bob here. So you know your project sometimes can just snowball right straight into hell. You go to fix something, while you're in there fixing that, you find other things to fix and it just starts piling up and piling up and piling up. And you think, well, it's something simple. Let me just take care of this. Next thing you know, it's months, years, a hundred centuries, a century's gone by, whatever. You know, it's, you never get the car done. Let me show you what's happening right here. So as you've probably seen in a previous video, I took the uh, hood off to paint the underside of it because it had surface rust and uh, it was starting to get a little rust out. It's not a high dollar car, so I'm not too crazy about it. Go in there. And I said, let me just, let me take the hood off the paint. And that came out nice. I'm pleased with that. Well, then I thought, well, since I did all that, let me, uh, let me go in here and, uh, I'll take the hood hinges off and paint them. So I did that today. Took the hood hinges off, which revealed some yuckiness. Got to clean all that up. The hood hinges are very dirty. They're going to take chemical cleaning, followed by probably the sandblaster and primer. You know, there's going to be a lot of work involved in getting that done. So you're probably looking at a, who knows when I'll get around to getting that done. But then I noticed inside the hood here, on the inside fender, I should say, it needs attention. Why would I not fix that? While I'm right here. See there? I'm not going to take this fender off and check for any rust up in here. But I'll probably find some. So I'm going to pretend I don't, I, don't, I don't know that the fender comes off. It's, it's welded on, I guess. But then I noticed wiper pivots. Might as well go ahead and put new seals on the wiper pivots since I'm right here. Got the hood out of the way. Then I noticed, look at these little rust hole, holes in the cow. Yep, let's fix those. We gotta fix them. They're holes. They're going, every time it rains, well, I just had floor pans put in the car, and every time it rains, it's gonna fill the water, car with water. So I gotta fix that. What turned out to be just painting the hood, the underside of the hood, has snowballed into who knows how many days on this. Well, I can get it done in one day, I guess. And then another day to do the fender fenders, another day to do the wiper pivots another day to do the cow but between those days i gotta work work on customer cars so this project this october it's late october 2024 i probably won't get this done i don't know to 2030. this car here the same thing happened to it I've had it four years pulled the engine out put an oil pan on it because oil pan had a big dent in it can't run it like that it's not good four years later I have gone through this car and fixed one damn thing after the other, pa practically rebuilt it. So yeah, these things can snowball on you and get way out of hand. But you're sitting there thinking, well, it's easy stuff to fix while I'm there, as opposed to having to come out later and take all this apart back apart and fix it anyway. So it can happen, guys, it can. And it's up to you to determine how far you want to go on uh, getting diving into this stuff. But I don't want to happen to this car behind me what happened to that car right there? We don't want that to happen, okay? All right, guys. Hope you guys are good at it. See you. Bye. Bob out. Okay, I came out to the parts car, and I noticed these. This car here, the guy was in the process of restoring it, make a race car out of it. These are already black, and they're much cleaner. This should be seen. So I'm going to just pull these off, and... uh use them and i had the other ones i'll just put them on the shelf as spares that'll save me some time and uh i'm getting ready to take this k-frame out i guess that's what it's called a k-frame it's, it's a j body so transverse torsion bars but like i said he's gonna make a drag car so he had a lightweight master cylinder with no booster and aluminum steering box and the adapter so i'm gonna put all that stuff in the cordova so i just swapped old keyframe over it's got new biscuits and tie rod ends and all that stuff it's got this neat little place to tie it tie it down with he welded that in so we'll do that and uh these fenders that's why i already got them so i wasn't thinking now wiper pivots where am at he's taking the wiper pivots out okay all right well, i can't use those so i got to find some wiper pivot gaskets Thank you.